guys in this video I'm going to do a quick assembly of this thing and um, as you can see here this part here will go into the motherboard like so let's see if it actually fits properly I'm going to make sure the things align correctly and it'll be this way I believe. again using these little tiny machines got to be really careful on how you slide things in then you'll see that there's a white and a red one and those correspond to the little propellers, the red and the red, I would imagine, and the white in the white, so long as the manufacturers didn't screw things up on their end. That's how it usually goes. Wow, you need to have like baby fingers to get in here. In retrospect, I probably should have done the red ones first before the other one. And there's one more. Uh, wow, microscopic. Like old people with big fat fingers will struggle with this, let me tell you. Yep, yeah, that's right, the instruction manual. Something that I usually study before I build these things. But this one's quite self-explanatory, especially if you've built a lot of these. Now they also have the LEDs. I probably won't use them, but that's why you have these extra two over there. I'm gonna save battery since I usually fly in the daytime and I won't really need those. Uh, so that's all you have to do for the assembly there. Uh, but now, of course, you gotta put those wings in. Those wings here or Yep, he won't go very far without wings, right? Yeah. So these go in like this. And let's see if I can show this. The motors will go in like so. Well, wow, that's hard to do. The so way. the other way, yep. She's right. Kids are so smart these days, they know everything. All right, anyway, like this. And then, um, as you can see, this is blue, so it'll get glued on like that. But you gotta be careful of this bit because you don't want to install the wings and then find out you can't close this off. So yeah, we'll, we'll apply some glue and uh, we'll take care of the next part in the next video. Thanks for watching. I believe.